open letter to His Royal Majesty, HRM, King Aziago wa Ilichi. Ishua 1 of Ohayazu Kingdom, a Fikpo North local government area, Ebony Estate, Biafra Land. Your Majesty, I use this medium to call on your attention, expressing my displeasure over the tour of northern part of Nigeria you recently embarked on, precisely to the Emir of Zamfara State and the Government House. It is usually said that one does not pursue rats when his house is on fire. Record has it that Ebni Estate in general and Afikpo North local government area in particular, currently accommodates the biggest mosque, Islamic school in this part of the world. Ebony Estate is purely Biafran with the indigenous people therein practicing Christianity and traditional religion. It has absolutely no history of ancestral relationship with Islam nor jihadists. You are fully aware your majesty of the prevalent, seeming uninterrupted, unwarranted development these colonization policy of the Islamists presently have on our farmlands and communities. There has been series of financial inducement on our people to give off their inheritance. This same atrocious conquest and domination policies was perpetrated by the Fulanis and their accomplices in the genocidal enterprise of the 1960s that claimed the lives of over 3.5 million people of Biafra. The ongoing romance between you and these vampires from the north is both sacrilegious and an act of betrayal. Your pretenses are already laid bare and disappointedly unbecoming of a traditional ruler of your status. On social media, one stunning comma proudly spoke on your behalf, stating that your visit to the Emir of Zamfara and the Federal University of Zamfara will soon yield results to the youths of Ebony Estate. It therefore becomes imperative for one to categorically say that your acceptance of the Zamfara-based university's chancellorship position is essentially a betrayal, which is codedly a sinister agenda against Ebony E people. It is certain that the House of Fulanis cannot ordinarily bestow such a prestigious post on a non-Muslim without such an individual pledging allegiance to the Fulani oligarchy. Biafrans and especially Ebony -E people cannot be fooled forever. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazin Mtikanyu has really opened our eyes as a people to the realities of our time and nothing whatsoever can hoodwink even the unborn Biafran generation. Let it be clearly stated here that your moves are targeted evil brought against the overwhelming majority of the people. It is a fact that you as a traditional custodian in Biafra land and particularly in Ebony East State has not for once, shown concern for the well-being of your people nor even interacted with them to sample their opinion about their predicaments, plights. But you have rather, driven by crass egocentric interests, decided to handpick few supporting slaves in your domain and embarked on an evil tourism to the oppressors. What a dictatorship! All sane individuals seriously frown at this self-serving and enslavement enterprise and hereby urge your majesty to desist forthwith from further dealings with our enemies. Ebony -E people will never be driven from the essence of differences with you nor even intend to ignore the very root of conflict with your reign. The rumors being spread during your time as a result of this disgusting anomaly may not be quickly remembered but it is quite on record. You have brazenly exposed this part of Biafra land to the desecration of its dignity, honor, plundered its resources and robbed it of its wealth and sacredness. Your reign is characterized by bribes and all sheds of slavishness, leading to widespread undue favoritism, moral and administrative decadence. You are hereby implored to carefully digest the contents of this piece within a reasonable time frame. Retrace your footsteps and duly accord recognition to the requirements of the indigenous owners of the land. The glaring truth herein expressed cannot be dismissed with a wave of hand. The company of stooges and saboteurs that you are surrounded with, cannot save your majesty after all.
The Fulanized influential lots on our land do shamelessly carry out their trade by deceiving our people through mind games. But it should be noted that the transference of the people's wrath and displeasure consequent upon your misrule can no longer be prevented. You need to be reminded your majesty that the days of reckoning are already here with us and posterity must surely judge everyone. At no point should our people get embarrassed, harassed nor humiliated anymore because of their rights of expression. It should be sounded loud and clear that even your own family your majesty will be held totally accountable if the mentioned evil enterprise tagged to you persist. A word is enough for the wise. Thank you. Christopher wrote to a Z Alley. For Family Writers Press International.